Hey YouTube, it's Michael Lambert here. I'm back once again with another reaction video. Once again, I'm reacting to peep this out in this video, KFC bacon and cheese chicken sandwich review. Peep this out. This is the new one that he uploaded yesterday and I'm gonna react to it right now. And if any notifications pop up during the video, I apologize and I will take care of them. Now let's get to this video. So here we go with another new limited time only promo that has a lot in common with a recent returning promo and of course I'm going to explain. So guys stay tuned because I've got the all new bacon and cheese chicken sandwich up next here on the channel. I'm Ian K, and you're about to peep this out. Welcome to Peep This Out Reviews with Ian K. Stay frosty. You know, I gotta say right off the bat, ever since KFC introduced their revamped chicken sandwich to go against the other guys, and you know who I'm talking about, I gotta say the experience has been pretty decent, especially in the size department, guys. Take a look at all that crispy goodness right there. It is looking pretty amazing. So let me break this one on down for you real fast, and then we'll get further in. So here we go with the bacon and cheese chicken sandwich here at KFC. And guys, you can't tell me this isn't a sizable looking chicken sandwich. It's looking pretty nice. So let's pop the top of this toasted buttery brioche bun. Take a look underneath. Initially, we've got a little dollop of mayo on the very top there. But as we pan down, you're going to see a lot more of the goodness. We have two strips of hickory smoked bacon, more of that mayo action, two slices of cheese. And that's all on top of their premium all white meat, double breaded, extra crispy chicken breast filet, guys. And again, very sizable, fried up to a crispy golden brown with the 11 herbs and spices of the kernel of course and it's looking pretty appetizing underneath it it looks like we have more of that mayo action and three nicely cut pickles guys a very nice situation there i gotta say again it looks really great and that combination of everything together i think it's gonna be pretty tasty and being that it's great to have choice technically this is the classic that i'm taking a look at but i did ask for a side of their signature spicy sauce so i definitely want to add a little bit of heat as well as extra flavor to what i've got here but guys again the combination of everything you're looking at does look pretty sizable for the money and i gotta say very appetizing in the aroma department as well so yeah, to say I'm ready to get down with this one is absolutely an understatement, guys, because the size is definitely a beautiful situation in my hand right now. It feels like a substantial chicken sandwich for sure, if not a little bit familiar, considering I did recently check out the returning Double Down. Take a look at that review jumping up on your screen here right now. That was a blast for me to check out the very first time ever having it. And I have to say with this, we'll get into a little bit more of the comparison, I have a feeling here. But let's just get started. This is the all-new bacon and cheese chicken sandwich over here at KFC. The classic first. Let's go in. Mmm. Crunchy. <laughs> it's a good piece of chicken. It really is. Well, right off the break, I really didn't get any cheese or bacon in that bite. It was pretty much just a nice chunk of the chicken, a little bit of that mayo and the pickle action, and of course the bun. So guys, very similar to the regular classic chicken sandwich over here. And I gotta say, that's a lovely situation as well. Take a look at that review jumping up on your screen here right now. Let's go a little bit further in. We'll get some bacon and cheese finally with this next bite. And then we'll get into some spicy sauce. So let's keep going in. Mm. There you go. All right, some added hickory smoked action to this classic chicken sandwich, guys. With those pickles on top of it, it's a nice combination and a nice thick piece of white meat to go with. The cheese, admittedly, is really non-existent on this particular one, but still, it is kind of holding everything together. But I am definitely digging the crunchiness of the bacon, and the smokiness of it is really adding to the overall flavor profile. Not bad so far. But on the real, and like I mentioned earlier, this has a little bit in common with the double down because I'm essentially having half of the double down on the inside of a toasted bun with some pickles. That's pretty much the main difference. What you're getting with the bacon and the cheese on this one is very similar, but instead of it being two chicken breast patties, it's one naturally in the bun with the pickles. And I'm okay with that. It's all right. But the price point at $6.49 for something like this, guys, just so you know, just to get a chicken breast alone here in Southern California, it's $4.29. So this sandwich is $6.49. The double down is $8.99. And yes, I know that's expensive, but when you add two fifty on top of this sandwich, I think the better buy is still going to be the double down because of the current pricing. It is what it is. Once you know the whole picture, the value seems a little bit better. And honestly, who's going to order just a chicken breast on the side for almost five bucks with tax, right? I mean, you might as well just get one of these sandwiches. Or if you want my honest opinion, just get the double down. But for something like this, it's absolutely easier to eat because you're having the bun here, so it's not nearly as greasy in the hands. But still, a lot of fun to eat nonetheless. So let's keep going in. And as I mentioned, I got some of their signature spicy sauce action right over here. So let's go for a little bit of pour on this here. Did I just say give a little bit of pour? <laughs> let's pour some of this sauce in here. Come on. It's thick. And I actually like that. This works out pretty nicely. 
thick mayo based sauce is kind of what this is but guys again that combination we're gonna get a little of everything there the pickle the bacon the cheese the chicken the crispy goodness it's definitely double breaded let's keep going in mm. wow you gotta get the spicy sauce on the side it's the only way to have these sandwiches here mm. It's such a nice, lightly steamy type of sizzle that it's got, guys, and it really does make your mouth water, but it adds a lot of extra flavor to what's already a very flavorful chicken sandwich here. Aside from the bacon, the hickory smoked action, and naturally the cheese holding everything together, it's a very nice version of their chicken sandwich with the bacon and the cheese. But guys, again, this is really making me want to get the double down again, considering what I'm going to get for that price point, and especially with this one being $6.50, you already know how I'm feeling about it. So I guess you can consider this the companion to my Double Down review because this really feels like the cousin of that particular sandwich. And again, a very lovely situation. So let's go for one more bite. We'll wrap the review with the rating coming up next. And we'll get a little bit of that sauce. Come on, get in there. It's taking some time. All right, well, let's go for a little wipe. <laughs> a little bit right over here. Guys, it's a lovely situation because it's a KFC chicken sandwich. Aside from being sizable, the quality is pretty tasty. And again, very lovely with that spicy sauce in there. So one more bite, we'll wrap the review of the rating coming up next. You definitely have a lot to look forward to if you're a fan of the chicken sandwich over here at KFC to begin with. One more bite, we'll wrap it up. Hang on. Sorry, I had an itch right here. Sorry, everyone. Well, no chicken sandwich diaper is really needed with this one, even though it does come wrapped pretty nicely in one on the inside of their foil bag. So I'm just going to give you a quick 360 here. And as you can see, a very sizable piece of chicken that really fills out this bun nicely with the cheese, with the bacon, and of course, all the mayo and the pickle action with this. A very nice version of their classic chicken sandwich over here, especially in the bacon department, and something easily worth checking out, if you can get by the price point, that is. Bad finger looking good. So with that said, I'm going to have to give the new bacon and cheese chicken sandwich here at KFC a pretty decent 8 out of 10. Guys, like I said, this really feels like the cousin to the double down because you're simply just getting a toasted brioche bun with only one chicken patty on the inside of that. Still the same cheese, and this, obviously the bacon is going to be the same as well. But with the addition of pickles on top of it, guys, like I said, classic or spicy, whichever way you go, it's pretty flavorful. But I would recommend doing the spicy without a doubt. And given the price point for a chicken breast here in my area at KFC at $4.29, at $6.50, that's still a better way to go because you're getting a lot more with it. But when you add $2.50 on top of that, that's where you max out the chicken breast for the double down. And that's really a better value when you think about it that way. $6.49 for this or $4.29 for a single chicken breast? Which would you choose? Definitely go for the sandwich. It's still a better way to go either way. All right, so do me a quick favor like always. Drop those comments down below. Let me know if you're going to be giving the bacon and cheese chicken sandwich a shot over here at KFC. And out of this one compared to the Double Down, which is your personal favorite if you've given both of them a shot already? Drop those comments down below and definitely let me know. And with that, this is ENK closing out another high-quality foodie feature for you here on Peep the Style Reviews, bringing you brand new content every single week here on my channel. So why stay tuned for the next review coming real soon. In the meantime, stay frosty. Hey, thanks for checking out this review, guys. But just in case you didn't see the one I did before this one, you can find it right up over here, along with what I think YouTube's going to recommend for you to check out as well. As always, I think you'll find something to like in both of them, and I'll definitely catch you in the next one. See ya. Awesome video. I give it a thumbs up and I hope you all enjoyed this reaction video. If you're all new to my main channel or my second channel or Peep This Out's channel. If you're all new to my main channel or my second channel or to Peep This Out's channel, make sure you guys subscribe. Give both our videos a thumbs up. Hit the notification bell to let you guys know when we both post. And share both of our videos with your friends and family members too, please everybody. And on my main channel, we are on the road to 8,000 subscribers. And on my second channel, we are on the road to 3,000 subscribers. And please, and please don't forget to take a look at my other videos on my channel's playlists. On both my main channel and my second channel. And give them a thumbs up. And share them with your friends and family members too. Please everybody, I would really definitely appreciate it. And please help me accomplish my goal to get 8,000 subscribers or more on my main channel and 3,000 subscribers or more on my second channel too, please everybody. I would really appreciate that too. And please help me bring my views and watch hours up on my main channel by taking a look at my other videos that are on the two playlists that are on my main channel. And give them a thumbs up. And share them with your friends and family members too, please everybody. I would really definitely appreciate it. Appreciate that. And please help me bring my subscriber count up on my main channel as well. Also, please, everybody, I would really appreciate that too. Please, everybody, please. Please, everybody, please.
And I'm off now, so until next time, see ya.